This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNet headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 10 a.m. on the East Coast, 30 minutes into the trading day. Let's see what we have happening in the markets as relatively mixed to begin things. Dow right now up 16 points, trading at 22,658. NASDAQ off nine points, trading at 65.22, and S&Ps off half a point, trading at 25.34. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, take a look at some of those futures markets currently. A little bit of volatility and a chop coming into that opening bell. Right now, S&P 500 trading at 25.31, about a two or three point trading range within the first, hour, first half hour of the trading day. NASDAQ 100, similar in that a little bit of a chop, Trading right now, 59.87, was up as high as 59.94, was low as about 59.82, settling kind of right in the middle of that trading range in the first half hour. Jumping over to crude oil, we had API numbers last night. We have EIA numbers coming out in 29 minutes from right now. We'll be live on the air for those. Crude oil currently trading at 50.23. Gold. Dropping a bit, 12.75 was as high as about 12.84, so off nine dollars just in the last two hours. 12.75 for the price of gold, and gold been struggling a bit. Was at about 12.70 almost yesterday, two days ago. Excuse me. We'll see if gold can get a bid for itself. And euro U.S. dollar 117.54. What else we have going on? Jumping into some of the. Let's take a look at the VIX first before we do. VIX currently 967. No volatility premium in this market, that's for sure. So in terms of stocks getting some action today, Netflix, taking a look at that. Netflix up 3% on the day or $5. Netflix getting a, we're going to pull it up here. Um, UBS increased its price target for Netflix to $225 per share from $190. So they are getting some action to the upside. Pepsi getting some action to the downside. They are struggling with growth in sodas, and um, that would make sense, right? We're, as a society, drinking less soda, that's for sure. They're going to have to turn to their food to kind of show some growth. And Netflix, um, excuse me, Pepsi down 1.3% for the day. Other stocks that have been moving, we'll jump around. Let's go over to Disney. Disney down almost half a percent currently, and finish it off with Office Depot, excuse me, which is down 20% Office Depot. The office supplies retailer announced a purchase of an information technology services company, CopuCon, for $1 billion. So market reacting to that. Stay tuned, we're coming right back. We'll have those EIA numbers at 1030. Have a great day, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.